Good morning, Three Cushion fans. We are bringing you a broadcast from Las Vegas, Nevada. The Rio uh, All Suite Hotel and Casino is host to this second World Cup of 2022. It's the 189th World Cup in total. And I'm very happy to be joined by a man who needs no introduction, Torbjörn Blomdahl. Welcome. Thank you. Um, and we are going to do commentary together on the match between Jeremy Bury and Sami Sidom. Yeah, the pleasure is not entirely on my side. I, I like to be here, but I would have preferred not being here, of course. We understand. Such is life. But uh, you get what you deserve. I didn't play well, so here I am. Torben was eliminated by Pedro Piedra Buena who played a good match, didn't give away many chances. So here we are. Torgan, would you agree if I said that Bury and Sidom have both been showing really good form? I haven't seen much of uh, Sidom's matches, but I see the results. Uh, they're kind of... Yeah, his, his level is high, this, this tournament. He's been playing well for some time already. So really deserves to be here. I saw some of Bury's matches and he is really playing well. I also played a league match against him just before coming here and beat me in, in 14 innings, 40 points. And uh, a little bit favorite in this match for me. Yes, I think Bury is out of a slump. He had a period where his results were not that good. His averages were a bit lower and he played a few World Cups below his own expectations, but he's back, showing good quality and Sidom was really impressive because we think of Sidom as a around a 1.5 player, but he was over 1.8 in this event. Played excellent three cushion, very talented young man with a very fluent style. So we can look forward to uh, an interesting match, I'm sure. There's the lag. Two, two absolutely fantastic cueists. Yeah, they have a nice stroke. Seem to never miss hit a ball. Those of you who have watched earlier know the format. We are playing 50-point matches now in the knockout stage. There's no equalizing inning, so the lag is a distinct advantage. It gives you that one inning extra. Interesting fact, we have two players in this semi-final with using carbon shafts, and in the other semi-final we have two traditional wooden shaft players. Yes, there is more good stuff to come today because the other semi-final is between Dick Jaspers, the world champion and the world number one, against one of the best and most talented Korean players, Hang Jae Kim. So that's later today after this match. First we'll focus on the Egyptian versus the Frenchman. one take care that it's not too long I'm going to say he needed a more push on that one but he gets away with it nicely this is what you want to leave when your opponent's ball is on the cushion like that spread the two, two other balls to the sides needed to hit that a little bit more full this is a typical situation where you see Jeremy using all the 40 seconds. Is there maybe a ticky to the red? Is that playable, Torbjörn? Yes, it's a kind of a wild shot. You never really know where the object ball goes. That is what he chose to play, but he cannot find the way back to the long rail. Yeah, that was a tough shot. Tough start <laughs> for him. The best tournament in Sami Sidom's career was 
the World Championship in Randers in 2019, where he made it to the semi-final. Where he unfortunately lost. Cross table here. Not easy in that position. And the guy he lost to is sitting next to me. Good memory for both of us. Gondos 2019 was just a wonderful tournament in every way. So well organized. It was a joy to be there. Yeah, it was a fantastic joy to play also. Close to my home. Draw shot, lots of spin. Too much. Or not enough draw, let's say that. That's closer to the truth. So a couple of hard ones for Jeremy to start with. Nothing easy about this one. Usually starts his matches with a lot of defense and wants to win in the second half of the match. Sidom has a very fluent style. Sometimes when he's quick, when he's picking up his sixes and sevens, he reminds me a little bit of Nikos Polygonopoulos, who can also make everything look easy. Yeah, Samia, Samia has this yeah, a little bit snooker-like stroking. And yeah, he, as we said, he never misses a ball, really. Burry is, of course, more of a chess player, tactician, defends well, always takes lots of time, deprives his opponent of rhythm. He can keep you in the chair, Burry. This was a good shot, but a huge white ball there, of course. For Burry, the highlight of his career was the World Cup win in Guri. He has won World Cup to his credit and he has also won the Verhoeven Open, very prestigious and strong tournament in New York where he beat Jaspers in the final. So I would consider that the two best tournaments of his life. And he was a losing finalist to Jaspers in the World Championship in Cairo. But I don't think that's one of his best memories. He was so close to being world champion there. He was he was world champion for like three minutes in his mind. Yeah. And then the Dutchman did the impossible. Yeah, you can say Jaspers escaped there a little bit in the end of the match. But that was not the first time, so... We are used to that. Talk to some players before the match and I wanted to get some predictions, but uh, it's impossible. They all say Jaspers, so... No Seems like, to me, Jaspers is not playing as well as he has been before Covid. That's correct. His but averages still have dropped a little bit. Still winning the tournaments. He keeps winning tournaments with uh, averages that are a few points below his usual incredibly high standard this match still needs to start how do you think about what do you think about Sidom not so frequently in semi-finals pressure wise I think when it becomes a really nervy match. The advantage is clearly with Burry. But uh, Samé can win if it's a scoring match. If they are going to exchange runs of 6 and 7 and 8, he can win. 
nice position here for Buri. It doesn't look nice, but I think it's it's very much okay because of the big, huge white ball there, close to the cushion. Can't really see the angle, but I think short, long, short here. Off the red. Ah, he's going to carry the red above the white. Oh no, he didn't. He yeah. did find that big white ball. Good line. Needed to elevate the cue. You see the angle here. Get a little curve yeah before the see first the cushion. Nice, nice curve. Very little, very small one, but beautiful replay. Necessary for the point. Always very focused Frenchman. Maximum English. <coughs> so now we're off. Now we're off. S match has started. Yes. Beautiful position now for Burry to make a big run. He's a little worried about that shot off the white. No, I don't think he has to worry really about like it. I don't think he's going to hit the red directly. But he's using a lot of English, so playing as thin as possible. That'll do. Perfect. A little bit unfortunate touch on the red there could have left himself absolutely premium position but he didn't not something we can control as players but just let's let's say you hit that right a little bit more on the left side and everything would have been perfect now he has a lot of work here nothing easy about this one and the strange thing we've said many times in commentary if you hit the third ball full you often get a worse result than if you hit it thinner. Ball staying in the diagonals. But he makes a wonderful draw shot. That's a good shot. I, I will Please, not the phones again. Yesterday we had so many disturbances. Because people in the audience had their phones going off. I'm a little bit older generation. I'm also sometimes surprised about my phone making noises. I think I have everything off, but as you say, it's been many, many disturbing moments here. Six. It's a remarkable. Uh, yeah, how do you say that? Metamorphosis? Yes, that's a fantastic Buri. word. He played so bad in in Ankara last World Cup tournament. It's completely off form. Under one average. And now he's looking really strong. He has uh, found his game again. Just a safety shot there, he didn't want to take a timeout, so... Good run, and the first guy to make a statement is Buri. Leads 7 points to 1. Same is yet to get into this match. Buri is very disciplined in using his timeouts. <coughs> always always saves one till the end. So a bit like Dick. 
you need to have one when it's 47 or 48. Good. Harmonica. It's nice to see that look to the right. He knew he had the point if there was no kiss, so he checked the second ball. The yellow ball, does it behave? Then I have the point. And it behaves well. Very nice follow-up position. Early tester here. Don't play to the corner. And there he needs a good touch on the red. I think he's almost okay, but he will need a left hand. Or the bridge. Could have been worse. He could have been totally in the diagonal. He would have had nothing. So this will do. Very long bridge. These tables are a little bit lower than normal, so you reach uh, reach these yeah. easier. I think he's in the corner. Mm. He's missed it. Home two. It was a nice, nice chance here for him because if he makes this, position will be nice. Nice trick shot position here, follow through on the white. Several long cushions and then coming out of the corner, but of course Bury is strictly business. No gallery play for Jeremy Bury. Four cushion here, just get the right hit on the red and the point is there. Now can he stroke the ball or is he blocked? Could be awkward. No, I think he lost position completely there, is unlucky. A red ball comes up right behind the yellow and... Chinese snookered. Yeah, all three in the line as well. Might have a little masse there off the red. But he's looking at white. I think he's going tumbler shot with curve. Lucky shot. Two. There's the hand gesture that was certainly a fluke. Try to go short, long, short, not short, long, long. Always the risk is that you hit that one too full because the cue ball with the right English is curving. So he wanted to be thin enough and overdid it slightly and lucky shot with the Perfect follow-up. This is could hurt Same Sidom if this turns into a run of five, six, seven, eight. I'm not sure what the white will do here. Again, fortunate. I'm looking good for the Frenchman here in the start. He's building up a good lead. Makes the point here and just plays the red to the center, hoping that that will be enough for position, and I think it is. Now the line is obviously right side of the white, long rail, short rail, long rail to the red. It's to navigate it. It's a point you expect him to get. Weight ball to the short cushion. And it will slowly 
roll down to the corner, but this looks short. Five. Makes it on the good side, I think. He'll take it. Yeah, he overdid that white ball to the corner stuff, but it's okay. White ball is very big here. Same tactics again he used against me in, in the French League match that I mentioned. He rolls one ball to the corner and then scores and gets good play this time. It didn't happen. Well, you have to say, if a guy beats you in 14 innings to 40 points, he's just played well. That's the long and the short of it. He didn't miss anything. His stroking is always perfect, and when he gets okay positions, he keeps on scoring. And when he misses, he doesn't leave much to the opponent most of the time. Four cushions now. Looking good. And that's I'm completely off. Short. I'm thick. completely off today. I can't see, can't see the lines. That's surprisingly short of the last long rail. We expected a little bit of slide, but this is normal. This is the type of line it would have made on the first two days of the tournament and the slide always gets a little bit less when you progress day by day this needs to be fairly precise four cushions he's playing behind yeah nice oh One. good shot he was fairly quick about it not yeah. a lot of thought, just saw the line, played it. He doesn't waste must much time. No, Samé is quick. And these are the shots... And this looks short also. ...that you expect him to make. It looks kind of short. Okay, he has it. Two. How's your luck? Needs a good shot here from the yellow. He spends six seconds to figure out how. It's pretty easy, just, you know, the plan is easy, but execution is a problem here. Be careful with the yellow. Ooh, left two. it long. Not enough draw on it. But if he hits it any, f any thicker, he would have had that kiss, so... Dangerous, dangerous moment of the match already now in the sixth inning. Buri is threatening to run away already. Perfect position now for short, long, long and good position play. I think Biri is looking dangerous. We have to make him the favorite at this point because Same is still picking up the odd run of one here and there. And Buri is already settled in playing billiards. Similar similar position now to what uh, what Same just had, but I think this one is just a little bit easier. You want to be just that one two centimeters to the left of the white makes everything so much easier than yeah, when you are one two centimeters to the right of it. I don't think he has the same kiss problem that 
This looked perfect. Same head. Yeah, no kiss problems there. One. In the year 2022, we're still having these mobile phone problems. It's unbelievable, but it isn't that disturbing because when it happens a lot, you kind of get used to it. If you just don't over overreact, it's okay. But it's it strange. It depends on the moment when they catch you. Just you know, you're making your pre-strokes, and then your attention is drawn to that stupid phone. Can be can be very annoying. Played that well. I've noticed he he makes a lot of those. He's very good at those shots. White ball close to the cushion, so not a big target, but still keeps on making these points. And this looked confident. Yeah, perfect play here. This is exactly what you want to have after that shot. You release the white ball from the cushion, and the red ball is possible to hit. So. I don't think he can play it slowly. He needs to push it a little bit extra. Missed it. Burry three. And there it was. A miss hit from Jeremy Burry. Yeah, not straight enough. Nope. Didn't go straight through the cue ball. Needed more ball. Oh, we can see the stroking here. Oh, he was straight, but still didn't hit full enough. saying some well-chosen words to himself. Full spin into the corner, that seemed easy to him. Nice shot. He made it look easy, but I think it's a very good shot he played there. It needed exactly the right speed and dive into the corner. More speed would have missed short. Thankful for that little margin, the fact that the red wasn't deep in the corner, that helped him. He wins, he wins the fashion match between the two players, blue and black, cue rubber and dress. Yes, his shirt and the cloth are a <laughs> perfect match. He has blended nicely into his environment. Three. Did he really use 33 seconds on that shot? I'm not sure the shot clock was okay there. Seemed to go quickly to the point. I don't think he uses 33 seconds ever. Well, maybe a few times in a match. Tester here. Very easy to miss it short. He needed to push the yellow ball away. Yeah, that was not so easy to get all that right, but unlucky leaving a fantastic position for his opponent <coughs> left side of red here long short long no kiss problems, of course. He's 
I don't think Red, so. Red's not going to cause a problem. I, can, I think he can move it out of the way easily. These shots playing really long. Wow. But he's okay. Well done. That was missable. Not for him. Is he especially good at that type of shot? No, but it, it was a strictly stroking shot. So that's normally easy for him when it's only about the stroke. Bury's early mentor teacher was French player Richard Bitalis. Torbjorn, do you know anything about his condition? He was in the hospital not so long ago. No, I don't have any recent news, but he he was uh, put in a coma for a couple of days, I for think. For medical reasons. Yeah. And he came out uh, all right, I think. And he had some heart surgery, and it was after that. It was not because of the heart surgery, but after that he he was in a coma for a short time. I talked to him afterwards and he says he's okay. Good. He's not quite the of the Kermans generation, he's a few years younger, but he's well into his seventies, Bitalis. Another cross table shot here, big speed. This time he missed it, but it was less complicated, more complicated than the last one. Building up a lead here, eight innings, eight points, Sidom, 19 points, Bury. It's going good for him, and he's still not making all the shots that he could have made, so. No, Still. but Sidom is not scoring. Sidom is making ones and zeros and twos. Hasn't made a run yet in this match. Although almost always seems to have some problem in the shot. This position is okay, but this cue ball position is no fun. M seems to have mishit that one. Yes. Yeah, that was difficult to hit from that cue ball position. And look what he's done. Oh, he has done nothing. No, <laughs> it looked like he was going to give away a really good position, but the no. balls can end up awkward in all sorts of ways. The red ball decided to stick to the cushion. If you see this, you think he's going to hand a prime position to Bury. Still a big chance to score here. Cushion first on the red and a little bit of reverse English maybe, and the white ball is... He's in a pretty good place. Lots of space around it, of course, but you're always optimistic about these shots. In the hole. No and now Sami should punish him. Place this one slowly. Lots of spin on the third cushion. On the fourth as well. And on the fifth as well. There was lots lots of spin in that one. 
want you to play it slowly that the yellow will stay somewhere close to that opposite corner. But I think he now wishes he would have given it like 10 centimeters more speed. A little bit stuck there, but might be able to thin, thin this one. Thin it and go around the table. Passing on the outside of the yellow. Yeah, not going behind it. That was good. Great shot. Uh, and he that gets was a nice nudge. Perfect, perfect double hit on the yellow. That little kiss helped him. His best shot until now. And, and these he things, gets what happens now? Award. Uh, it's n there's nothing you can do about it. You cannot play that yourself. These things just happen. A nice nudge or but an unfriendly one. Like this. He should have hit the ball first, maybe here, but. Ah, it's okay. This should be good. This could be the beginning of a fight back. Very nice touch on the third ball here. He has opened up the door. Now everything is possible. This is a great position. Five. And this time nothing good happened there in the corner. No luck this time with the hit. Yeah, but I think I think that was not the best way to play that shot. You should have moved the yellow more. You don't want to have it on that side of the table. You should have played with more speed and move it to the side where he's standing. Has a four cushion there from red. No real shot from yellow, so this is a little uncomfortable, but the best shot to play. Excellent. How he got out of trouble there. Very good. You'll tend to leave those long. He didn't. Now he has a very thin three cushion here off the right side of the red, which he normally plays really, really well. He's the stroking artist. I think I've seen like Ten of these from Catania, and he's made every single one. Oh, you mentioned another one with oh no, no, hands. no, no, that's no good. That one was six. terrible. Oh, he'll regret that shot. Yes, I like uh, Catania's touch on all those. Almost no English three rails running. He has such nice hands to. But this was really bad. This was a horrible shot. You almost never see that from him. Unfortunate, because he would have closed the gap completely there, making that shot. And Buri is happy in this match, he gets open positions all the time. That's the line he played earlier, short, long, short, with running English, but this time not as good as the first one. Don't know if he mishit it or just didn't give enough English. Yeah, it was not a big mistake. Oops, four or five millimeters. Well, it was a pretty big target, not a good shot. I'm surprised the speed he used. Why did he play that fast? But we'll never know. Maybe he knew that he was going to leave this position. That was ambitious. And attempted a perfect hit again. That was difficult to hit it. Not much else he could do. So thin from distance with right hand English. Oh, that was a tough shot.
one. Big speed shot here. It was necessary, no way you could play that as a draw shot. It would have been hundreds of kisses. And he gets a good continuation here. And not perfect, but... Should Can he okay. play this rolling ball? Can he reach it with just thickness in English? I don't think so. Needs to work on it. I think he needs to give it some speed and spin. Yes. Obviously. Uh, perfect. If he could have rolled it, he would have done that, but he couldn't. Of course he could have, but it would have been three times more difficult than, than this way, so then you don't do it. Even even if you would get a fantastic position, you don't risk that point. On the other hand, didn't get much, but he will actually play this thin on the white for, for a safety shot. Does hit the ball well normally, so he might even make it. Wow. How about that? I am impressed. What a good hit. I know it's a safety shot, but as we said when Marco Zanetti played, one of the strengths of the Italian is that he often makes those yeah, safety he's shots. He's played them so many times. <laughs> like Bury, often plays these uh, safety shots and then you get kind of habit starting get getting closer and closer and making them get confidence and it's it's important for the player to to not just play the safety shot you have to do everything to make the point at the same time again perfect <laughs> this time he also played the the white to this beautiful corner position This is a schoolbook safety shot and position play at the same time. Don't think he got he got he didn't get the four cushion here. Left side or red four cushions. I don't think he can punch it that much. Or can he? Probably risk shooting the red ball out of the table. He's gonna play it. Yeah. Red Bull stayed in, and the point is good. Fantastic shot. If we get the replay, we can see how close he is in the passing of the of the white ball. Close to the one cushion. Really close. We'll see it here. There you have it. Wow. That was n maybe a centimeter, maybe less. Great shot by Bury. So like we're getting to the halfway mark in 10 innings. Puri on 24. If he makes one more, it's a few minutes, four minutes, five minute break. It's going up and down on this one. Six. Makes that one as well. It's, oh it's, a, it's a fluke. He miscued. He miscued. He was playing a five cushion. He was playing a short five cushion and completely miscued. It looked so good. But it was a horrible mistake. Well, we have to say Bury is the luckier of the two so far in this match. But also the better of the two. He, he doesn't miss much. Slightly better position for him throughout the match until now. And we are surprisingly, after 40 minutes already, halfway with the Bury match. Well, I loaded up here with food and stuff. Uh, was expecting a two and a half hour match, but Bury is not slowing down here. And he's going to make this one as well. Nice slow <laughs> speed. And I think he's in perfect shape for a five cushion here.
played this with, with almost no English. Five cushion doesn't look really easy. He's lifting the butt a little bit, so it must be tight. Thinks he Needs can get a curve. Oh curve and lots of speed. Is it long enough? Very seven. Should have elevated the butt a little bit more. And I think he could have gotten there. Great time, gentlemen. So there you have it. It's half time. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't go away.
turn to resume. Mr. Burry, is it okay for us to resume now? We are back, ladies and gentlemen, with the second half of the match between Samé Sidom and Jeremy Burry. It's the first of two semi-finals in the Las Vegas World Cup. And Jeremy Burry, the Frenchman, is playing really well. He has 26 points in 11 innings. Samé Sidom trailing hasn't had many chances yet. And the guy to explain the action to us is Torbjörn Blomdahl. Torbjörn Burri a big favorite now. Yeah, it's not much to explain. He's playing well and getting the better positions until now, but we know Same, he's a good he's a good player and has been playing well in this tournament, probably full of confidence and doesn't look like he's worried. This shot was very good. Needs to make it on four cushions, otherwise the yellow will be there to disturb the six cushion. I feel that he c he cannot make many mistakes if he wants to win this match. No more mistakes. Double the rail, short, long, short into either the yellow or the red. Both will do, but not from the back. He could have made the point if he hit the red on the way in, not on the way out. Yeah, that's a shot that you don't play that many times. No. And this is a pretty new table for World Cups, so we have no real reference. Uh it is my impression that the tournament average is not very high. I'll do the calculations once all the results are in for the last 32. You are right there, but it looks like tables have settled in a little bit now. Uh yeah. Looks like averages are going up towards the end of the tournament. Unlucky for Sidon that he left Buri not only one position, he had another option too. So he had two easy, sh easy shots to choose from. And that's not what you want as an opponent. You don't want to give away these almost free points. I love these replays. They give such a nice impression of the English that's in the ball. The action on that last shot, lovely to see. Some dirt on the cue ball. Ooh, referee, don't move the position of the ball. Anyway, it doesn't matter that much. It's it's the third object ball, the second object ball. I'm watching a lot of snooker on TV. I'm not sure that the ball is coming back to the same position every time. It's not so important in, in snooker. doesn't matter where the ball is. You has, <laughs> you has to hit it right to pot it anyway. So, And this is, of course... Very nice for the cameraman to show off his skills to detect all the mistakes <laughs> by the shaking hands of the referees sometimes. Here is a three cushion, or does he have to play cushion first on the red here? I don't think he can play three cushions. Should have a kiss, and if he plays rail first, he needs to give it a big bang. So he doesn't like it, which turns white ball into first object ball. So it was important. Rushed shot there in the last seconds Four. to avoid I'm sorry, one point taking a timeout. And not the easiest line he played there. It's difficult. No, you are you are hitting the white ball full, so any English you put will be too much, so it's a very difficult shot, very low percentage. Really? He's really playing double the rail here, very thin. He had the little short angle there, on the other side of the yellow. Long, short, long, that looked like that looked nicer to me. And these double derails 
are tricky when you can't play with running English or f even full English. You have to play with moderate English. Yeah. Makes them makes them more difficult. Dick Jaspers is expert on on those shots, but he's expert on almost every shot. So that was a stupid comment. Three cushions now. Go into the corner, pretty deep in the corner with curve and full spin. Easy task for Bury. And again, nice position here. Three, three chances. Which would you go for, Bert? Yeah, I'll let you see the position first. I think I would thin it off the right side of the red three rails. But that could very well be the wrong choice because I'm just a humble one average player and who occasionally plays four average uh, I do uh, sometimes I would like to once mention in once in 40 years <laughs> that's the advantage of having a long career get many chances to make but good I games. get lucky because Puri is making the same choice I would have mm. yeah but it is it is a good choice and he misses it one he's one. too afraid of making it long so he makes it short the classic billiard player mistake talking to himself. He was analyzing the shot and he found out what he did wrong. I don't know what he did wrong. I don't think he mishit it, he just misjudged it. Uh, that's a nice fluke for the Egyptian. Come on, give us a smile. He's smiling inside. <laughs> not a good shot here again, but it's it's e it's not easy to control that that kiss there from the cue ball is so far away from the object ball. His first thought is the little hand of apology. These guys are very well behaved. They will not ever forget to do that if they make a fluke. Sit home one. That was a very difficult cross table shot. You can't use left English, you can't use right English, so <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> Had to hit the red ball thin to avoid the kiss. Which is the best bank shot, Torbjörn? Yeah, I think I would go for four cushions and try to hit the red ball. Not the white, because if you hit the white on the right side, it's you miss a point, but you can go to g try to hit the red ball full on four cushions. So if you hit any side of the red, you will score. One. He'll be happy with this result, I think. He has the point. Maybe the position would have been slightly better if he hit the red, then the long rail, then the white. Yeah, I'm not sure this is just coincidence that the white goes to the cushion here. Yes. Probably would have been better to play s slowly, but slowly not you're not so sure ab about the angles than if you play really slow on the bank shot. I'm always a bit fearful when I have a bank shot and the second and third ball are frozen mm -hmm. together. Yeah, those are it the worst. It puts a little fear in me. Yeah, and those are the, the best shots to practice at home. Just put bank shots like that and you will be a better bank shot player after that. Just feather the white. You'll be happy with that. Interesting slow motion here. You see Bury aiming exactly at the point of the cue ball where he's going to hit it. Which not every player is doing. For example, Dick Jaspers, when he plays a draw shot, he's aiming his cue, cue tip into a very high point in the cue ball, and then he goes down in the stroke. Bury is very straight. Always goes straight through the cue ball at the point where he's aiming. 
Oh, that's a big miss hit. Mm. Might be a fluke. Came Very pretty true. close to being a fluke, but... Yeah, he didn't like that. Yeah, stay straight. Again, difficult for the Egyptian. Problem after problem for Sameh. He cannot get an easy starter. Not a bad shot, but it will not be a point. No score. And it's too fast for defense. Several ways to at attack this problem. Problem is a good word. This this spells problems. I think I would go up and down, left side of the white, short, long, short. But the red is, of course, in the desert. Lots of blue around it. The size of a chickpea. And again, Buri is playing the shot. The same shot didn't doesn't make it. No score. Yeah, he's smiling there because he tried a safety shot, but he missed it the wrong way. He should have missed it as a the other way. Yeah, short, long, short, yes. long, short, and then going by the red would have left a much worse position. This is probably an easy ticky. I say probably because I can't really see. Now it all depends on the little gap between the yellow and the long rail and it was Fine. perfect because he just picked it up easily. Can't seem to buy a position. People make systems for tickies, which is total nonsense because the if the first ball you hit is like three centimeters away from the rail, it's a totally different shot than when it's four centimeters away from the rail. You cannot devise ticky systems. I think they use these systems when the when the object ball is further away from the cushion. But as you say, it's <laughs> it shouldn't apply for for when it's close to the cushion. It's just a totally different shot. Yeah. Good thing hit here. These, these are other shots that he plays so well. Didn't work until now in the match, but this was a good one. Oh, I missed, I missed a terrible shot like this against Pedro. I played against two Pedros. I mean, Piedra Buena. First Gonzalez, then Piedra Buena. Need to hit full ball on the yellow to make the point. Three. Now is this, did he play this one too soft or? I think he put all his focus into making the point and he forgot about the yellow. It was dangerous. It was risky to, to play for position there, just took the point now, he needs a very thin hit. Good That's safety shot. Obvious safety. Super yeah. difficult to make the point, but you know you'll have some safety value in the shot. And now that red ball is so deep in the corner, it could be there for a couple of innings. Sometimes both players refuse every shot off the red. We could and they go play for a safe coffee. to each other. If we could go for a coffee and come back in three minutes. It's possible. It could be there for two, three innings. If they don't, ball. if they don't make huge mistakes, you know, miss by meters, it might go on for a while. This, but Jeremy frequently makes these shots. This is uh, not bad. Too long, but not bad. 
Good try. And absolutely impossible shot coming up here for the Egyptian. Even his cue ball came co close to the cushion. Buri must be happy with that shot, even if he missed it. But, of course, Sami can try an almost impossible up and down and take over defense again. He will play that. Yes. So it's left side of the yellow, little reverse, try to go really high up on the long rail. Desperately difficult. No, not enough Too reverse. Too much ball, but what he wanted was the defense and that worked. So there we, we predicted this, the red ball would be there for a while. Should have gone for the coffee, I think. This is a very interesting, but slow part of the match. This is like a little safety battle in snooker. And these are the safety battles that when you lose them, you know, you either make a big mistake or you get a kiss in the end of the shot and leaves something open. Might lose you the match if you lose a safety battle like this. No Tried kisses. To cling no it kisses. to the short rail. No kiss. Yeah, he got the kiss. <laughs> he, he was hoping <laughs> for no kiss. <laughs> this is funny. And now here's the opening. But it's not really good. Uh, I don't like the five cushion here. I hope he likes it. No, he doesn't like it no, either. No. He's going to have a problem if he goes left side of the yellow to the corner. Very high risk shot here. Is there something else? Maybe thin with a draw? Ah, he played oh. that. Is there a kiss? Is there a kiss? No, no kiss. But it's Is long, he long? isn't it? He's long, but at least he has good, perfect defense. Yeah. I don't think he played a bad shot there. I think he did well. Very good shot, but as he is coming with high speed to the corner, it kind of draws it out of the short cushion yeah. and makes it long because of that. So he was almost <laughs> impossible shot, but look how close he came. Yes, I think he did really well there. Technically, super difficult shot, which he managed pretty well, but the position is so hard that no points. Now, are you going to get out of this problem with the bank shot up and down into the short rail first? That is the secret of this position, that red ball, kind of. No, very trying again to go across the table. Not a bad shot. Might fluke it. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> How close did he come to making it off the long rail? That's o an almost impossibly small chance of hitting, but he... <coughs> He was close. Oof. Cannot. Couldn't have been closer. Now this is interesting bank shot here from Sidom. Because he, he will try to hit... What is Long he doing? Rail first. He hits no ball red. <coughs> No. I was thinking he was going to play longer yeah. and maybe yeah. get a double kiss double on the kiss red, on and, the and, red. And, and with some extra speed. But It's probably better than rail first because you can get double kissed out if you have the long rail first. But now, now we see that the red is a little bit away from the short cushion, so this was probably the right shot. Not so bad. Now let's see if Jeremy can no, go he's on going the to attack. He's going to release the red yeah. out of prison. He doesn't have a shot from the white anyway. Cue ball will be jumping. Yeah. So this is a good shot. Big white ball or yeah. Good shot. But but yes, he has it. Gets it. Well judged. Plays better, gets the better positions and a little bit fortunate uh, as well. So this is going to be very difficult for the Egyptian to come back. But it's a 50-point match and you see fortune changing places sometimes during a long match like that. 
and fortune favors the brave, as they say, so Jeremy's decision to play off the red ball, release it, was the right one. Super thin four rails. Slide now, yes. So the Frenchman came out the winner of that little safety exchange. And now we have a reg regular match again. Key point here, c if he can make this one he can run away. Difficult to control the white ball. That's well done. This is very long. Way wow, long. how long did he get that yes, one? Yes, that is way too long. What happened there? Replay? Did he get such a curve? Mm. Quite a almost, bit curve. Almost looks like he had reverse English on it, because that was not in such a long line. Strange. Sidom decides against using the red here. What does the white, the yellow ball do? Nice. Good. That was good. Calculated risk, maybe. Didn't really know where the yellow was going. Passed the kiss by some centimeters. ball in the cushion all the time for Sidom, which does not disturb him that much normally. But it is annoying again. His cue ball close to the cushion. I think Marco is one of the best in the world when it comes to playing yeah. with the cue ball under, under the rail. I think Jaspers, don't forget him. Forget me, but uh, Jaspers is very good at that, but I know you're not a big fan of uh, no, I hate it. playing from under the rail. You might say, okay, go practice, but it's not that easy because... That's a surprise choice. I thought he was going to play the ticky there. Very good shot. It goes back to the next safety battle. No, I was going to say from about shooting from the cushion. Yes. It's not easy to just say practice because we're using a lot of English most of the time and cue ball is creating a huge curve on the way to the first object ball and that's not something you can practice that much because that curve is different on every table. Yes, it is. So it sometimes remains a strength or a weakness of certain players. I was always impressed by the Kiaspers how he managed those situations. Now I'm talking 25 years ago. <laughs> Gets a kiss there, but still keeps defense he intact. He is a little fortunate today, Mr. Bruni. He's a little fortunate in his leaves, and he's a little fortunate with his two important flukes in this match. He cannot complain. Yeah, the one that he miscued, that was, that was crazy. What a fluke. And it's hard, hard work for Same Sidom. Bank shot here into the corner. Corners on these tables are really difficult to judge. It's not your day, Mr. Sidom. It's, it's all hard work. It's all uphill for you. Only 11 points behind. That's one run. Or 2-6 that you mentioned before the match started. Yes, five and a six, and he's closed the gap, but... That has been his strength in this tournament, but these he hasn't little runs. He hasn't made a five or a six yet in this match.
We're playing on Predator Tables, Class 1 Cloth, Dinosphere Balls. Here's a look at the spectators, many familiar faces in the billiards world. Can you name half of them? Uh, half would be a big ask, but maybe 30%. I do recognize half. Again, not bad position here for the Frenchman. Only little problem is that the red ball is very far away from the yellow. Any spin you put on the cue ball here in this case it's left hand English might curve the cue ball or there might be some deflection things might happen on the way to the red ball using very little spin it looks like yeah I thought that would be too short needed some spin there but he gets away with it leaves something very difficult again And this time he didn't know, he just went to p went to make this, wanted to make it. Difficult choice here for Sidom. He can use the yellow ball too. Can play short, long, short <coughs> off the yellow. Can also play cross table, inside cross table off the red. Many choices, very, very difficult to, to know which is the best way. This was good. He had confidence in that line, played it even with all the stretching <coughs> and a different perspective. In the end it was point. it was a little bit easier than I thought. I thought he would have a problem with the kiss here, but that was no problem at all. So that was the right shot, of course. Not a big reward. No, this is probably only a five cushion. Ah, oh, there goes the phone again. And the Mute gesture made phone, by Sidon. Please. We've asked you several times. Thank you. So I made gestures. I, I want my seconds back. And yeah. he's right. So we start off fresh. <coughs> There's no seven cushion here. The red is in the path. Has to play the five cushion. No idea where the yellow is going. That's out of the way. That's looking really good. That's a great shot. Yes, excellent. More, more difficult than it looked. He had to slow down the cue ball in order to let it stay on the table and not jump. And he needed a good kiss there in the end and he did not get it has a three cushion but it's not one of the nice ones do you like those Bart? nobody does the white is fairly close to the long rail any little difference in how much ball you hit can make a big difference it can amplify your mistake that looks pretty good maybe long but was as you say not the easiest of shots, he gets it. And suddenly things are happening, it's starting to happen. This is again a good position, this was a great shot. Maybe the lucky millimeter that puts him back into the game, because this one is very nice. And a good, pretty good thin hit there on the yellow for outside position and dominant position. He can use the yellow ball easily as second object ball now. 
So Bury is thinking I do have a good lead, but maybe it should have been a little bigger. Maybe I should have taken advantage when all things went my way a tiny bit more than I did. Because now somebody is starting to play billiards. And the speed speed of his game is, is important in these kind of situations. He plays himself into a mood. Yes. Doesn't. And that's when he's the most dangerous. He just lets, lets things happen. A little fortunate there with the red ball. Yes, but that's what I say. He just doesn't think too much and, and lets, lets it flow. I don't think he has an easy one here though. You see him elevating the butt of the cue here to try to stop the cue ball. Good speed, a little slower and he might have had a miss through the hole but not at this speed. And also this center court table is playing a little longer than most of the other tables. More lamps, more people, and it has been, and there has been less matches on this table. And there we are with this seven, but this was not a good hit. I, was that thin enough? Oh yes, it's, it's good. It's there. First good run in this match by Samay Sidom at a very good time. He was in danger of losing touch with Buri, but now he has almost closed the gap. And I have to say he hasn't panicked so far with all the difficult problems on the table. Stayed focused. I know, I know he sometimes gets nervous, but it's impossible to see. He always looks so, you know, not indifferent, but very relaxed and cool. Crazy shot, that one. I was uh, impressed by his calm when he won the Battle of the Beards yesterday, the close match against uh, Pietro Buena. That could have gone either way, but he was certainly the better, better player in the final 20 minutes. Very risky position here. Hard to know here if you can at all play cross table because of the all the possible kisses. Where are you going to leave the yellow? Yeah. And now this is important. That'll do nicely. If if the red ball stopped right in front of the cue ball he will have a very easy five cushion for an even bigger run good shot this extra thin to slow down the yellow a little bit and pass three times above he has the shot from the red which i talked no, about he's looking at the short angle why he's not playing the around the table he's playing the short angle this is risky for a bad contact Run goes to 11, and so we, we are at 32-32. Tied match. Very nice. And this might be a shot to nothing, as the snooker players usually say. If you can play the short, long short here with a little bit elevated butt, some extra speed. Bring white back to the red. No. Nope. Good try, but just doesn't get it. And has he given away a makeable bank shot? That's that's what always happens when yeah, you play so those you kind of th uh, those, those safety balls shots. tend to look each other up. If you play this type of safety shot. This was exactly the shot that I thought he should play, but 
as he used a lot of speed, that curve is coming too late. This can make such a difference if if the gap between those two balls, the white and the red, is like ten centimeters larger. It takes all the all the bank shots out of the equation. Short, long, long coming up here into the corner. Aggressive, aggressive oh corners yeah. here. I don't know if that's a word you can use for a cushion, but corners are extreme on these tables. So you don't, you're not really sure what's going to happen when you play into that corner. So we have the 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 opposite situation. Bury many times likes to start slow and accelerate through the match. Now he got a good start, but how can you miss that short? He had a difficult line there and you're afraid to miss it long he missed it short my goodness didn't like he really expected to make that momentum changing now now complicated position for Bury again well you'd have to say given the starting positions that Sidom has done really well to be level at this point, 32-32. Massey shot by Bury. Nice. Takes a look at the shot clock. Lots of action needed. Mm, Not I'm bad. Not sure. Close, but no point. Can't say much about his Massey abilities because I haven't seen that many times. But it was a tough one. Not for Semi, but that's a different. So you know, yeah, he makes those category. for breakfast. You can do miracles with Massey's. Good shot. Completely different look to the match right now. Confident shot here, he did not play three times across. For I hope for him that he has a five cushion here, very deep into the corner. If he doesn't, it's going to be a very difficult three cushion. Because there are no second chances, he have to. Oh, he has the five. Uh, he makes it a little thin, but I think sure enough. Could have used the corner even more. Was not exactly deep into it. Almost perfect position here little bit to the ref to the right with the red ball and he has an easy three cushion off the red now he has to play this trickier half draw shot of the yellow right side of yellow right side english no he's going left five side cushion. of the yellow okay he's banging it for five rounds. maybe a very smart shot Ooh. yes it was <laughs> made it easy i did not see that coming Good decision, Same. On his way to his first World Cup final. His first international final at all, I think. That was a very surprising <laughs> shot and very educational. Long, long short again, which he made so nicely a couple of shots ago. This one much further away and equally good he has shaken off the harness Bury had him in shackles for a while but now he's loose as a goose yeah he was really tied up in the beginning of the match some some 
yeah, some strange little mistakes. Miss hitting a couple of balls. But now he's he's completely there. No last three. Come on, ref. <laughs> The referee is still in his mind playing to 40 points. I hope it doesn't break Same's concentration. He can smile about it. Little mistake by Henry Ugatechea. This is tough, Torbjörn. Not for him, maybe. Full spin. Needs a lot on the third. Oh. Sit on five. Yeah, he, he put too much, draw, too much draw on it. Yeah, that was a good chance. Now he leaves everything open and... But we do have a new leader in the match. Same Sidom now in the lead, 37-32. And Jeremy Bury has something to think about. Half an hour ago, everything was going his way. He was dominating the match, getting the better positions, having a little more luck than his opponent, and now things have changed. That run of 11 has shaken everything up. Sidom has found confidence. That sounded a bit heavy, that contact. Yes, that He's was a bad long. contact. He's missed it long, that's because of the contact. Dangerous shot for, for that. I'm not going to say it was a full-on butage or kick, but it, do, it did sound a bit heavy. There are two ways of playing that shot. You can play it thinner with lots of spin and half ball and, and not so much English. And he chose that way and that is where you get more frequently the bad contact. We had a similar situation with Dani Sanchez yesterday who needed four and had a bad contact on a shot like this. Yeah. Uh, a Those long are shot the shots. Long. Those are the dangerous shots and you have the option of asking the referee to clean the balls before you shoot and then it will not happen. Almost 100% sure. So I've been, I've been traditionally bad at that. But now I've learned. I always ask clean balls before those shots similar here but he is now perfectly in tune with the world and with himself we have a new favorite to win this match it was Buri all along now it's Sidom Who's a 60-40 favorite to win here? Five cushions now. Red ball stays in the corner. Goes directly to the yellow. Is At least he two? tried. He should have hit it on the way in. Like you said earlier, Turbion, the red ball creates a problem only when you make the point from behind, from seven rails. If you make it from five, no problem. It's also not that easy to keep that red down there in the gap because the shot is at high speed, creates different angles for the object ball. Complexion of the match has changed completely. Now he misses a shot with a kiss and leaves almost nothing. Oh, he's looking at the four cushion here of the red. First time out for Jeremy Bury. It's a little complicated. Turning point of the match when was the safety battle with the red in the corner, which well, in fact, Bury, Bury won came out winning yes. it, but maybe lost rhythm and most of all. It's started to change the way the positions are divided between the two players. Now Bury no struggling and Sidon getting the better chances. 
everything has turned upside down. The second half is like a mirror image of the first. 26.10 at break time? No, 26.14. Yeah, it was ten innings. Uh, in 10 innings. 26 in 10 for Brury. One. So uh -huh. we have in the past 15 innings, 6 points for Jeremy. Okay, 4 or 5 were just... Uh, <laughs> when the red was frozen in the corner. Sami caught the wrong side of the red here. He expected the other side. Now he has a little problem. Cue ball position again. Close to the cushion. Miraculously avoiding the kiss there. This is a very good shot. Really wow. good. Really good judgment. And everything is going his way now. Because that could have gone wrong. That's where it could have gone wrong. And this is where it could have gone wrong. Good nope. speed. Finds the point. Good speed. Seven cushions possible here from red maybe. But he will play the short angle. I like to throw this one all around the table. Don't like these little thin hits or reverse English little shots. He plays it perfectly. Three. I'm sure this is what Martin Horn would have also played. Absolutely. I think that's what we have to play, uh, but I still don't like it very much. But probably Nikos would have played your seven railer on that position. That's possible, yes. Ooh. Home three. Very close to Too the kiss. Ball. So we have 42-32 in favor of the Egyptian. And now it's Bury with all the hard work to do. Needs to find his second breath, second wind to get in back into this match. He's a fighter, he can do it. Not a guy who will easily give up. One of the best fighters in the game. You can never write him off. But this this match is slipping away from him. That's too much backup. He's out of it. No score. Was he playing the three rail or the backup there? I think he was playing the three rail. Yeah, I think so too. And just now there is some talk. No, there is no talk. Yeah, he played the three cushion. Uh, I think so too. Don't think he mishit it. Just maybe late in the match, table shortening up a little bit. Cross table, difficult stuff. Nothing easy about that one. Uh, Such an enormous amplitude, he's going so far out and back four. in. Speculating yeah. on defense. Yeah, making the third ball smaller and smaller. Really tough shot. not even looking at the bank shot into the red. He wants to go off the red, cross table, right hand English. Uh, oh, that's, that's good. good. That's good. Probably much better than the bank shot this. Yeah, but the bank, bank shot looked nice too. And the little wry smile says, why don't I get more reward for my good point here? And the answer would be, you had your share, but 
it's not really true. It's been equalized a little bit now in the last innings. But this is bad, yeah. He's you play a good shot and you're left with this. You, get this, you do yeah. feel a bit cheated. Yeah. Life is unfair. But it's really a c it's a matter of momentum here. The momentum is completely on the other side. You have to try to fight back against that. And he does that pretty well. Look at that hit. Oh. Fantastic hit. That could be wonderful if it slides. Yeah, uh, it was a little fast for mm. that, but no score. what a hit. I'm sorry, one scored. One scored. So. One scored. I follow. Referee causing some. movement in the audience a little counting mistake <laughs> yeah what a good shot and still no point what is this bank shot it's going to be too long no it's good no, perfect it's perfect he, ju he could just see the right spot in the first cushion there passing the two object balls really close and um, here we see not much place there between white and yellow for the perfect bank shot. Now this one I think he can thin off the side of the red without problems. Yeah, this is a sh this should be a sure point should if you pick up this. If he doesn't overthink it. Oh, I stroked it really nicely. No problem. Very soft, perfect position. And they will somehow always give you a chance if you make these Three balls in the middle, that's the secret. Actually, it's uh, not a secret anymore. It's a big three cushion principle. Which is not used. Yeah, it, it was not used so much like if you go only 10 years back or, or 20 years back. People prefer to have balls in the corners. That was too much English, probably. He made that look no, easy. No, he made it. Picked up the point. I Did can't see the angles when we have this above camera. Didn't care about the red. He just made the point here. Mm. But the red is its decent down there, but now it's I think it stayed in the cushion. So if it comes out a little bit, it's perfect. Still not very bad. Can he go twice around long? No, he's going to play long, long, short, softly here for safety and maybe a point. Very soft. Very close, uh, but a perfect sure safety shot. That was the right shot. Uh, I think it was. Look at this. Horrible for Burry, of course. A little slower. And the cue ball will go straight more straight out of the second cushion and <coughs> bigger chance to score but it was a good try very interesting situation here second half points Jeremy digging in again lifting the butt of the queue trying this really difficult cross table oh my goodness not bad not well bad at did all. he hit that he has it yeah They are ugly shots, but they are fantastic if you make them. They don't look particularly nice, beautiful. It's hard, it's rough, it's... And it was not even a safety shot, because all three balls are on the same, close to the same short cushion. I think he did great there. Yeah. Escape artist. He likes to come from behind in the end. 45-33, if he can make like 6-7 points, he'll put the pressure firmly on Sidom again. Now you risk, you risk to play this too long. That Very always fine. looked long. Uh, too much English, I think, on the cue From ball. the moment he hit it, it looked long. Too much English, comes too high in the third cushion. 
Somebody is checking the scoreboard. Something is up. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. There's no play. And we have another weird noise here in the room that we shouldn't have. Hope it's not the fire alarm. Playing a very thin shot here. Long, long short of the yellow. Very thin. Great shot. Fantastic oh. shot with position. Wonderful shot by Same Sidom, who only needs four now to book a place in his first major final. That would be quite a moment for the very Egyptian much will be depending former dentist. Occasional still dentist. I didn't know that. I thought he was full pro billiard player now. Is this in the corner? Two. He avoids it. Oh. I was going to say, much depends on this shot, and he made it. So, looks like he got all the three balls together here in the corner with a little bit of luck. There will always be some possible shots. Oh yes, this Double is nice. the rail. Double this rail. looks good. This looks very promising for Sidom. No equalizing inning for Bury, so... No, if you make the 50th point, you're the winner. No matter if you play the white or the yellow ball, 50, that's it. And Bury had 26 in 10, now he's on 34 in 28, he must be disappointed. That looks a little... Longish. Long. And... He gets it with a kiss. Four. Did he fluke it? And the frozen balls, I maybe he, did. he can finish with a ticky. I think he fluked it. This was certainly a miss. Too long. Let's see. Here's the kiss. Come on, show us. Yeah, it was a point for sure. It hit even twice. And it third time and it's frozen. My goodness. So four points. Karma. Little hand gesture of apology from Sidom. Didn't get a ticky. I thought the yellow was open for a ticky, but now he has a dif he has a difficult shot. Is he going to go left side of the red, up and down? Not easy. Yeah, and that's gonna leave reverse. A leave a good position for the opponent if he miss misses. And I think anything will in this position. But I'm not a good safety player, so let's see what he comes up with. Spin draw Spins. into the corner. Yes, that's what he does. Increasing. The size of the yellow. Close. Four, sit home four. What a good try. Maybe we can see on the replay if it was going to be a two cushion or... No, not from this angle. Might have been good. So it was a very good try. He misses and he can still smile. What a yeah. nice young man. I don't know if he saw this position coming, but this is a reason to smile. What can Bury do after that ordeal? It looked to go his way all the way. It looked so easy in the beginning. Second time out for Jeremy Bury. I think he has a draw here left side of red, just put some spin on the cue ball, full hit and let the cue ball go around the table. It's not easy of course, but he was looking at some kind of bank shot behind the white. And now he's going to go across the table here, very thin. This is a pool, pool player's shot. Play red into the 
corner. Great hit. And I don't want to call that luck. It looks a little lucky, but the truth is he played a good shot here. A very good shot to find that line for the cue ball. So may not worry yet, opponent on 35, so many points yet to be made. He is on the threshold of his first big final. Still a lot of work to be done. Buri is a good fighter. He can make two sevens or something like this and, and give a bad safety shot in between. He's capable of all this. Two. Not perfectly executed this shot. The red ball is came to the wrong place. Should have been in the upper left corner. No timeouts more for Bury. Surprisingly goes from red here. I thought he was going to play a safety shot off the white. He needs a perfect hit here. Looks Not good. Bad. Really Looks good. very good. Three. Now, how's your luck? Did you give yourself a nice bank shot or a double the rail? What did you get down there? Can't see it from here, but we'll see in a minute. Mm. Very thin hit on the white, maybe. Not perfect. Could have been an easy double the rail. But it looks like an easy bank shot just into yep. the opposite corner, maximum spin. Yes, normal line. Should be free point. I don't think you can make it too long. Four. He couldn't. He just banged it in the corner and that was the point. He did lift the butt of the yeah, cue a bit. Yeah, it's a big curve here. So he's trying for extra length. Didn't hit the full corner even, so maybe he could have played it too long. Yeah. Strange. Okay. He's still alive. Never gives up. 49-38. Has played such a good tournament, but he was lucky to qualify because on on another table... Tour guy Orak missed the point in the hole, which almost did not exist, and that would have put Bury out of the Five. tournament. Or at least I think so. No, uh, maybe I'm talking nonsense. And if Typhoon had equalized, would he have been out? Yeah, that that is that, that is was definitely sure. that is for sure. Yeah, so. But you know, these things happen in this tournament format. No, 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 it was right, because Orak was playing against Buri in that match. That was a fact. Playing for one and hit a, an impossible hole. Played a no. wonderful tournament, by the way. Buri doesn't have any time at all. Seven seconds, still needs to shoot, six, five. Two seconds left. No, that's not the way to prepare for a shot running Very around high. the table. No. Unfortunate they're <laughs> getting a bad position, no timeouts. But the time management was no good. Maybe he should have played the bank shot, go all out, full risk, make the point. Yeah, but he could have played the same shot immediately. Yeah. Well, why Why you need to think 40 seconds about that, uh, that it's shot? It's, it's going to stay. It stays yeah. difficult. It's what he does. Sidom here into the corner for a place in the final. Not the maximum corner. That's, That's it. it. And he is very happy.
Sameh Sidon from Egypt beats Jeremy Boudry from France and books his place in his first major final. Very popular winner. And boy, is he happy with it. Here's Bilal Salama, his countryman, enjoying the moment. A great moment for this likable fellow from Egypt. Sameh Sidom is in the final. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for watching 5 and 6 on YouTube and we will be back with the second semi-final. Don't go away, it's a good one. Dick Jaspers plays Hangje Kim.